14,249 black diamond. All right. Anyone want to call who the diamond's going to be? Uh, we don't get much, Greg, honestly. It's, uh, it's not easy to get them. So. I wish, uh, we could. 349, San Jose, San Jose, Tomash Hurdle. San Jose. For the Avalanche, number two, 199, Rookie Gems Auto, Martin Cott. I love these cards. They're actually beautiful looking cards. Martin Cott. For the Blue Jackets, Team Logo Jumbos, Liam Foodie. Liam Foodie. For the Penguins, Diamond Mine Relics, Evgeny Malkin. I know Ice is getting close. Oh, so you're you're using the 2019? I think is that when they got the deal though with ESPN. 3.99 rookie gems, Liam Foodie. Because he, I believe even right now ESPN pays him a lump sum regardless of how much it sells. 3.99. And we've got for the Maple Leafs the 2.99 exquisite rookie Nick Robertson. And also again, just to play the opposite side, he's beat. 18% of that revenue goes for fighter salaries. It does not account for the bonuses. And that, I think, a lot of people... Like, perfect example. Perfect example. GSP, I think the highest he ever made on a technical salary, according to the Athletic Commission, was half a million dollars. 500 grand. The highest pay I think he made in one fight was just under 10 million. Just under. 349 Jordan Bennington. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff that go behind the scenes. 149 Silver on Black. Rookie signatures of Shane Bowers. You know what going on? I feel like it's one of those. It's a double-edged sword, and I feel like there's no right or wrong on that. I, I, it's a great conversation. Numbered 6 of 15, Team Logo Jumbo's Gold, Paul Coffey. Oilers, beautiful card, Paul Coffey. But at the end of the day, nobody watches UFC for the first five fighters that come on the fight card. So for them to get fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000... They're not bringing in anywhere near that viewership for them. For the Hawks to 99, Baudin. The way I would compare that is you're not joining a monster break for an MVP box. Chicago Blackhawks. We've got for the Rangers, silver on black signatures, Mike Richter. But it is... Pretty high skewed. The big boys make a ton of money. The rest, not really. Silver on black. And we got an Ottawa Senators 299 exquisite rookie, Josh Norris. Well, yeah, yeah it's just eight feet. That, for example, another one that I can tell you that I know of. When GSP was on uh, Tough, the show Tough, UFC bought him and him uh, his parents a car. And it was not a cheap car. <laughs> I think it was a Range Rover. So, like, right there, I don't know exactly how much Range Rovers are, but they're not cheap, I thought. They're, like, what, 50, 60, 70 grand each? So, like, right there, there's just two gifts, per se, that are $100,000. Dallas Stars, Miro Heiskanen. I would not be surprised if the UFC gifts a lot of people. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's called Tough now. I think it was just called Tough, wasn't it? Nice. 99 double diamond Connor McMichael. Connor McMichael. 
Connor McMichael double diamond. But like that's only one small show, right? And he's getting hundred grand of two cars. Like I feel like they get a lot of uh, a lot of money. Diamond my or diamond debut relics three to nine. Timothy Lilligren. There was another one. I'll see if I can find it for you. Eight feet. I have to find out. I can't remember the guy's name, but he was a heavyweight fighter. I thought it was Sam. Maybe Sam Alvey. I don't know if that makes sense, but. It was a heavyweight fighter. 349 Diamond Legends, Patrick Waugh. And he actually gave a breakdown of everything he got and, and everything he was supposed to get in his contract. And it ended up working out that he got four times what he was supposed to get paid on average on his career. 399 Pierre Oliver Joseph. Olivier Joseph. Because apparently Dana White just went to the back and gave him some extra cash and stuff like that. 199 Matthews. For the Maple Leafs. Oh, yeah. No, I I, said, I follow a lot of that stuff. I, I just think a lot of people also forget how much advertising costs. Um, the amount of back-end work. How many workers that they have. I feel like that. Everyone always just thinks it's just a fighter should get more money. There's probably three, 400 employees that work very hard to make that fight. Like, promote it. You know, build the advertisings. The venue. All that fun stuff. The setup. They do a lot of, honestly, the UFC does a lot of stuff every day to, like, their fight weigh-ins, all that fun stuff. 349, Huberto. But do not get me wrong, never once am I going to say UFC is hurting for money. I think they make a ton of money. Number to 99 for the Devils, Kyle, Paul, Mary. MVP hate, no. 99, Kyle, Paul, Mary. We've got a 99 retired numbers, Brian Leach. I actually love the design of these cards and the uh, the shine on them. I think they did a much, much bigger or much better improvement on this. Diamond, Ma Diamond debut relics, three to nine of Nick Robertson. You know what, Golden? He's a very polarizing figure. I personally love him. But I know there's a lot of people who hate him. We got a Diamond Futures to 349 Kaprizov for the Wild. Kaprizov. 349 for Minnesota. And that's a nice one. 99 exquisite rookies patch. Josh Norris. But it is... The one thing I always find funny is how many people get mad that Dana White makes a lot of money. And it's like... I don't think anyone realized when you create a business, those fighters would not have made any money if it was not for him. And it goes, to be clear... It goes for any business. Anyone who runs a business, if you have workers that are making a good living, at the end of the day, regardless of whether you like him or you hate him, or her, obviously, it's only because of that person that you're making money. 349, Kanekni. If he's like it or not, if UFC pays low, I can tell you Bellator, 1FC, all these other guys are not paying any more money than UFC is. Seven of ten. That's a cool one. Diamond Legends. I feel like they didn't do a good job of actually showing a diamond in this card. Diamond Legends. Marty St. Louis. The diamond is right there, but I feel like if most people looked at this card, they might have just skipped over that diamond. So... I think they could have done a better job of highlighting that diamond. I don't know, man. That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? I feel like if you looked at this card like from here and I didn't say the diamond, I feel like you guys would have thought it was design. But beautiful card. Congrats. Dallas Stars. Team Logo Jumbos. Jason Robertson. What's up, Caden? How you doing? Jason Robertson. 
for the Avalanche to 49 Diamond Mine Relic Patch Auto Martin Cott Martin Cott to 49 San Jose Sharks 349 Alexander True <laughs> And we got a rookie draft date of 199, Kratsov for the Rangers.